Mercury, only slightly larger than the moon, is so close to the sun that it is difficult to observe. It is believed to be one large cinder with no atmosphere and a day-night temperature range of nearly a thousand degrees. Venus is perpetually cloud covered. Spacecraft report a surface temperature of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And an atmospheric pressure 100 times greater than Earth's. To astronomers, Venus has been perhaps the most frustrating object in the sky. The most powerful telescope on Earth cannot penetrate the dense cloud cover that hides its surface features. We can only guess what the surface is like. Possibly a seething netherworld beneath a crushing, poisonous carbon dioxide atmosphere. Jupiter, nearly half a billion miles from the sun, is the largest of the planets, larger than 1,300 Earths. It outweighs all the other planets, moons, and debris in the solar system combined. Saturn, encircled by a halo of brilliant white rings, is the second largest planet and is twice as far away as Jupiter. Uranus is a pale blue-green ball two billion miles from Earth, traveling a great orbital arc in the intense cold and darkness of the outer solar system. Neptune is the farthest of the giant planets. So far from Earth that no features have ever been seen or photographed. Pluto, nearly four billion miles away, is probably a snow-covered rock in the dim light of a remote sun. Of Mars, the red planet, we have evidence of its cratered surface photographed by the Mariner spacecraft. Dust storms sweep the rust-colored surface. The famed canals, once believed by some to be the work of intelligent creatures, prove to be chains of craters. Bright Martian desert either escaped the devastation of meteorite bombardment or was smoothed by some powerful eroding process. Mars apparently has no running water that cuts and fills. So the scouring agent was more likely a wind-borne material. That Mars is a world of contrast, we now know. The newly acquired knowledge has only whetted man's appetite. continued and more thorough investigations of Mars. If extraterrestrial life does exist in the solar system, it is most likely on Mars. For that reason, Mars remains the prime target of the planetary exploration program. Only once every 175 years are the major planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So aligned that a spacecraft can visit all four line.